Hello, my name is Tess. I'm the creator of The Way With Paint. So, thank you for visiting my channel. Today, I want to talk about um, choosing sketchbooks. So, I've been using sketchbooks for some time now, although it's only been recently that I have thought of seriously putting time on filling it up. Um, I have a problem with actually with choosing sketchbooks because I want to try them all. There are so many sketchbooks now available at Fully Broke National Bookstore and then some uh, some other local online stores. So I, I really want to try them all. But if you don't want to be like me, uh, that you have to spend a lot just to find the perfect sketchbook, then you better listen to my tips. So as I've said, uh, I had problems with choosing the right sketchbook because I want I wanted to try them all. Um, here, these are just some of the sketchbooks that I bought. Uh, some I've really used up and some are mostly like few pages that I've used. So what I'm going to do now is um, just to give you some tips that could help you choose your um your your next sketchbook okay so first um, you have to determine the purpose for that sketchbook are you going to use that for journaling or for just for sketching or watercolor uh, that is important because not all sketchbooks have the same kind of paper so right now I have to say I have a particular bias for watercolor paper, sketchbooks that have watercolor paper because the favorite medium that I use is watercolor. So I need to find sketchbooks with paper that can handle watercolor and that can also handle pen and ink because sometimes I, I, I make those or um, maybe you could just use um, the ordinary sketchbook for simple sketches and pencil drawings so second uh, once you have determined the purpose of your sketchbook then you can get to choose um what size um do you need um do you want it uh, to be very handy like pocket size um it come the sketchbooks usually come in different sizes from a6 a5 a4 a3 so that's already too big for me actually um from experience uh, i think um the size that really works for me is just about like this size just bigger than an index card um this one this one is my latest uh this uh moskina moskina watercolor sketchbook so this just like um, the regular, I think 5 by 8 this is the regular size of notebook. And then for some people, um, the, the bigger sketchbooks work for them because they want to do um, panora uh, sketches of panoramic views or they want to do portraits. So they have like more space to uh, put in the details. But then you also have to weigh in um, the benefits of the benefits and the cons of that. Um, if you're gonna buy a bigger sketchbook, where are you gonna put it? Are you gonna put it in your bag or you just carry it um, uh, with your hand? So for me, I, I wanted something that is big enough for details and then something that I could use so that I could. Um, uh, make drawings in landscape and then but small enough so that it could fit in a regular shoulder bag or backpack so let's see this one okay since I open up the Moleskina one so Moleskina see um, okay I just put my personal details there okay Please don't spam my email and my my inbox, my SMS inbox. So, I'm planning to use this for journaling. Although I've been a bit lazy lately. Um, maybe because I have a lot of things to do. So, as you can see, this one is in watercolor. Um, 
both watercolor and ink. So, it's just a simple drawing. I, I drew this while I, I was at Greenbelt, Makati, at St. Mark Cafe. So, there is this girl um, near my table who's reading a pocket book. Yeah, just, a, just a book. Uh, she's waiting for a companion. So, she's having coffee while reading. So, usually these are the people that are easy to sketch in. But anyway, so as you can see, it can handle watercolor very well. It can handle a lot of layers. So, and it can also handle ink. And I think it can also handle fountain pen. So, if, you, if you're the type who draw using fountain pen ink, I think this will also do. Although, um, I, I spoke with some of um, the folks who use Moleskina before, um, uh, they, they told me that there's a difference in the quality of paper now. So, I, I, I wouldn't really know because this is my first one. This is my first Moleskina and so far I'm, I'm liking it. And then, this is an unfinished sketch while I, I was at the food court. And then, this one. Uh, this one is for a friend who likes playing Overwatch. Hello, Tito Pedro. So, this is um, a Filipino version of Diva from Overwatch. And then, this one. Okay, this one is water-soluble water -soluble graphite. No. So, of course, um, the medium is water-based. It can handle the... It can handle pretty well. So, as you can see, very new. And I'm so far, I'm liking this one. Okay, for the next one. This one I bought from Art Whale, PH. So, you can check out their website. I'll be putting um, some sources and uh, websites of local online stores. So, you, you better check them out. And this one is... I think this from like recycled cotton, 100%. Um, I'm not too sure. But this one is really a joy to use. Okay. I, I just got confused there, you know. Um, I put my name at the back because the, the name of the paper is there. But it seems that this is the front page. And I drew on the cover of the front page. So, But then anyway, I can still use the paper. And this one is... Uh, this one is also using water soluble graphite. I drew this while I was at Starbucks Shangri La. So, um, this one is drawn using water soluble, um, water soluble colored pencils. Okay, that's a mouthful. So, it can handle pretty much any water based media. I have some other drawings in my bigger. I have a bigger caddy. Uh, this one is A6 in size, and I have one that's. A4 okay so I, I also like this one although how I wish um, we have that version of caddy that uh, that has a book cover a hardbound cover so there's a support when you draw okay hopefully art will will get one <laughs> we'll get some stocks because I really like this paper I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy more if if they're gonna stop um, some that has hardcover i forgot how much this is but if i remember correctly somehow maybe in the range of 500 pesos the moleskina by the way the moleskina is 1200 okay just to give you an idea of how much these things cost and i bought so many okay this one this one is not a journal this is not a book but i really like the paper if somehow Fabriano is gonna make a sketchbook with this paper. I'm gonna buy it too. So, okay. Here. Okay. Actually, this is a watercolor block. But then, got removed from the... <laughs> got removed from the cover already. So, maybe it's because I was re removing some of the works. And this one got left behind. So, as you can see, it can handle a lot of layers. This unfinished one. It's a... Of based on a photo of a friend's nephew so I really like this paper and then the next one um, I would actually prefer sketchbooks with the hardcover this one is like some leatherette a bit soft but still stiff enough 
that it could provide some support. I like this also. This is monologue soft sketchbook. This is an A5 size one. So, see, can handle watercolor well too. Several layers. <laughs> then this one, a sketch of my dog. Oopsie, nudity, Scarlett Johansson. Okay, then one of my friends, Jamie. Okay, one, uh, one also of the things that you should consider when you're picking out your sketchbook is if you're gonna do like urban sketching. And some of the urban sketchers, they would prefer the um, books that are in landscape format. Like my Moleskina, this one is obviously in portrait. But somehow, it doesn't lie flat, not too much. So, what you could do to solve, at least solve that problem is to put clips around so that the paper won't move. Okay. I think, what did I, I really can't remember what I use here, but this is watercolor. I just forgot what brand. And I have an yeah, unfinished one. Yeah, I was testing gouache. This one is in gouache. Okay, I, I really like this one. This is a sketch while I was at Boss Coffee. There's someone that I saw who kind of looks like a younger version of Neil deGrasse Tyson. Okay, so I think you should also consider this one. This is a bit cheaper compared to Moskina. And there's a lot of pages. I think this is around 600. 600 pesos if I remember correctly. Okay, this is one of my favorites. This is actually Stratmore. Um, this is the, the wrap where it came in. So, actually, I I kept this so that I wouldn't forget the next time. that Because I'm really going to buy another one when I, I, when I see one. It's a Series 500 Mixed Media Paper. So, this is uh, a regular 5.5 by 8. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, 5.5 inches by 8.5. Okay, 190 GSM paper. Um, maybe in another video, I'll, I'll discuss the kinds of paper that could also help you in picking out your sketchbooks. So this one is really good because it can handle a lot of, a lot of water. No, I, I really like painting in layers. Yeah, this one is especially my favorite. I think I use um, Kuretake. The transparent watercolors here. See, I was testing the colors here on the side. This one is in gouache. Okay, new DD again, sorry. <laughs> this one is just like a different version of the one I painted in the Kali. Yeah, Kali C. This one is water soluble colored pencils. Okay, so, and more new DDs, okay. I, I've used this when I attended a live um, drawing setup so that's why it's mostly in new drawings but I really really like this one uh, the problem with this is, is it does not open flat so I just have to put clips again around it it's very useful okay okay this one I think so far is the best watercolor this is not a journal okay but this one Saunders Waterford by St. Cuthbert's I don't know if I pronounced it correctly St. Cuthbert's Mill and this is endorsed by the Royal Watercolor Society the oldest and most prestigious watercolor society in the world I think so I really like this one because it absorbs you no know, it handles a lot of washes this is two of my works using this paper if if you're okay with like pulling apart papers whenever you do sketches i think this is a really good paper for that see this one is water soluble graphite this one is using watercolor daniel smith so as you can see i, I like the velvety finish so, I hope my tips 
uh, help you somehow so that you could choose your sketchbooks. Okay, sorry for that. I always, almost always, every time that I try to do a recording, I ran out of battery. So that's what happened earlier. I ran out of battery in my other phone, which I use for recording. I don't have a separate video camera, sorry. So, um, like what I've said, Saunders Waterford is one of my favorites. And hopefully, um, maybe they could make a, a water watercolor journal using this paper. Because I really love this. I like the vel velvety um, touch of um, the surface. And because it's a watercolor block really do, you really don't have to worry about like putting uh, painters tape around so that it won't buckle so that the paper won't wrinkle when you put a lot of washes so I hope my um, tips um, give you uh, a lot to think about and maybe made it uh, a bit easier for you to choose your next sketchbook I have some favorites you could try them out but of course it all depends on your like what I've said uh, your purpose um, so it will it that will determine largely what sketchbooks would be perfect for you uh, I still have a lot of other sketchbooks that I want to try but most of them are not available online locally I think I have to order them like overseas so I, I've heard much about Pentalic um, GAM, Global Arts, Art Materials. And then uh, I, I forgot a bunch of other, other sketchbooks that I saw online. But those are some of the brands that I'm also interested in trying. So for now, uh, I will leave you and in the next um, video that I will upload maybe I'll talk about um, papers a different kind of papers and uh, what are those numbers that you see like this one like 50% cotton like how many GSM what does that mean okay maybe I'll, I'll do that in the next uh, video that I will upload okay so again my name is Tess Thank you for watching The Way With Paint. Bye!